Hey guys, uh, welcome to this Micro Helper tutorial, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to know if your computer has 64-bit capabilities from a 32-bit. Um, if you want to upgrade to a 30, from a 32-bit to a 64-bit, you must know your computer has capabilities and requirements from a, to a 64-bit. Um, one, 32-bit and 64-bit, the two differences about both of them is that 32-bit can only hold up to 4 gigabytes of RAM, but they but it's actually 3 gigabytes, it's just that people lie, or Microsoft lies, for 4 gigabytes so people can buy the computer. And a 64-bit can hold 4 gigabytes and up, up to 16 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, um, uh, also make sure to know that your computer, let's say you're going to reformat your computer and you want to upgrade to a 64-bit. Make sure your drivers are known to it and that they have cap uh, like requirements for the 64-bit drivers and whatnot. And it... The 64-bit runs programs faster, and it gives a 10% boost from a 32-bit. There's not really a difference, but I suggest getting a 64-bit because it has more security than a 32-bit. So to know if your computer is capable of having a 64-bit operating system, well, I have Windows 7, and, and this can work on Windows Vista. But if you have Windows XP, please get updated because I'm not sure how to do it on Windows XP because I forgot. So just go to your Start menu, right-click on Computer, click Properties. Once you click on Properties, this window should pop up. Basically, where it says see also at the bottom left, click on perform in performance information and tools. And after that, it should load this window here. Um, once you're here, where it says view printed blah blah blah, click on it. A window should pop up. Uh, it should be kind of empty like this. And then once you see that, just scroll down. And then I think under system, it should say um, it capable of 64 bit, but I think it should show like this. Something like this you should see under system, this says system type 32-bit operating system, 64-bit capable. And make sure you have two cores because I suggest that for 64-bit. And I also forgot to mention 64-bit takes up about 1 gigabytes of RAM doing nothing, but that's okay because you got enough RAM for yourself. So yeah, that's uh, how you know if your computer is capable of a 64-bit operating system. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.